Welcome back after many, many months and many years, probably now. I've not actually posted anything, but I've decided because Instagram is so bad at shadow banning me. Basically, I can't be recommended to anyone but these people who follow me, so thank you if you do follow me. If you don't, it's pretty much no point now because I'm shadow banned. Anyway, I'm going to try and go out for a deer tonight. There are stags over there and hinds, obviously, but hinds are out, causing a lot of damage to the maze. I've not seen damage like this in my life to maze. Shot a stag on Monday. Big. Big animal, show you photos of it here. I think it's gonna be probably silver medal, which is, I'm not really bothered about, frankly, at all, but it's with the tax at the moment, who's also a CIC measurer, shoulder mount. I'm excited for that to come back, but first and foremost, let's carry on the stalking at the moment. So I'm going out after the deer tonight, probably see quite a lot of row, fair amount of, hopefully red. So I just went there this morning after the good, good batch of rain tonight, saw quite a lot of um, footprints from trespassers. So I'm going on a bike as well, all this morning. So I've sort of re-secured the gates and padlocked them so that people can't come into private land. No respect for that whatsoever these days. But there were quite a few slots and reds as well. I'm gonna go back there this evening and have a look and see what we can find. Fingers crossed, I can knock something over and get it on camera. I've also got quite a new little cool dongle, which is the phone. I'm filming it on the moment because the phone's so good nowadays. My camera is currently out of action. Um, I've got a new dongle, which fits onto the binoculars. So Laura, who's filming, um, will be able to zoom in through the binoculars on camera and um, you'll be able to see the shot. So stay tuned. So yeah, load up, mate. Good stuff. You completely missed the doe and the kid on the left-hand side as I'm walking up here. The buck's just behind that gateway, you can see. I'm being pretty uh, reckless walking in uh, without even clocking the does and the kid. Still to the left, but uh, yeah, somehow getting away with it. Whilst my dumb ass was making a racket with this Velcro, Zier obviously spooked. Ran a short way out the hedge, hence why it's a bit chaotic in the film here. We don't really get me setting up, but you do get the shot just front of the shoulder. Through the arteries there, there's a road here on the ground, so I'm gonna get out. 
Hey presto, was at Ars Tech. Lovely lady assistant here went to get the gator. Product's done. To be honest, I don't really get much better than that here. Let's see, six points. Cool animal. Here we go for sausages. Whilst Laura doesn't like me trying to cook sausages with every single meal, darling, it is the best thing to eat. Healthy, sustainable, literally in a crop. Effective shot, effective track, effective growler in the chiller. Let's try and find another one. He's quite skinny. Picking him up then, he's very skinny. You can feel the ridges of his, he's a skinny animal. Obviously the first thing he did is a stalker. It's just the behavior animal, the behavior was normal. He got up, ran away like a deer should. Stopped, looked back, as a rodeo does. Had a look at the animal itself, no signs of any abnormalities in his guts, any abnormalities on his exterior. Apart from the fact that he's a bit skinny, but I mean, the ruts just happened. The rodeo will lose so much weight during the rut because they spend so much time rutting and trying to get females, fighting the other bucks or chasing the other bucks away. He's a big animal, he's a big buck, so he'd probably be chasing a lot of the smaller bucks. So he spend a lot of energy doing that and a lot of time eating. So that's probably why he's a little bit skinnier than perfectly fine for the table. And we'll make good sausages. So here we are now, we're at second spot. Probably these hinds and calves. In fact, here they are. That's a calf. It's probably a hind next to it. Not on the menu for today, but everywhere in Cornwall especially, you're seeing a significant rise in reds. All boundaries really, they're coming in off. Interesting change of deer populations. But certainly since COVID, I think it really had a big impact because obviously less people were stalking. I'm not 100% sure that many people have started stalking again as were before. Certainly a lot of hobby stalkers out there make a lot of noise online, but don't actually do much. This is why they're here. That is what deer's favourite food is. Not afraid to say that I missed the first shot because of the moderator. You probably didn't really understand where the sound came from. So he ran down the edge towards us. It was about 220 when I first took the shot. It's probably too far to be you, but there's no other way we could have got any closer because there's a deer right there. She's still there. I don't think you can see that on the camera. She's not even faced, but my worry is if he got any closer, she's fucking any through. An event for one, but I would say it happens to the best of us, but I'm no, by no means the best. <laughs> But more importantly, I think the buck's on the ground now. So yeah, I made a second shot. Shot him in the ribs. He's 150 then, which is far more sensible range to be shooting. I just don't think there's any way we could have got any closer. Let's go get him. So that is my worry. That was my worry that if we'd shoot, spooked, done that, that she would have sent him packing. So that's why I didn't want to get any closer because the doe, and she was properly hidden in here. I could just lift off her back. Um, yeah, so it was a good decision actually in the end. It worked out well. Let's go find him. I don't think he's this up. He's trying to come up. We kind of walked over him, didn't we? Oh, there he is. There's a good buck to take. Yeah, like I said, in the ribs. Minimal bullet, minimal 
We did meat damage as well. Okay, not the first one, which was slightly off his neck. It's unloaded, it's safe, perfect for meat. I mean, look at this as well. This is a good one to take, so he's pretty gnarled. Um, he's got well, three on this side, and then just on here, he's got absolutely no sign of going back, so it's a good head to take. I mean, yeah, he's, he's an old buck as well. His teeth are pretty well worn. I never sure the signs of that. I mean, feel worn to me, but yeah, good one. All right, Grelick him and then a couple of whiskeys now. Might be. He's in much better condition than that one. He's still a bit skinny, but that's just because after the rut. It's quite an interesting head, actually. It was all warmed off to one side. Definitely more being more edge being put for his right hand. Right, let's go. 